Hey Central students, welcome to another extra project tutorial for grade 7. This is the paddle boat. The paddle boat is a fairly straightforward 3 to 4 class project uh, using mostly the scroll saw, sanders and the electric drill. First head over to the extra project materials shelf and get what you need. On the top shelf there are a couple of templates for the hull of your paddle boat. You can go with the standard round front uh, or you can do a little more of a pointy front and you can trace those out. Or if you have your own design for hull shape, uh, feel free to do that as well. So grab whichever template you want to use and one of the body blanks and later we'll come back and get the material for the paddle wheel and the mast. Just trace it all out and then we're going to take it over to the scroll saw and we're going to cut the whole thing out. We're going to use one of the yellow DeWalt scroll saws that are set up with the slightly wider blades to make all our straight cuts. Uh, this just makes it so it's less likely that we break a blade. If you try to use one of the thin blades with a really thick block like this, um, it just puts a lot of strain on the blade. So for the big long straight cuts, use the wide blade and then the inside curved cut will switch to one of the finer blades. Make sure to wear your safety glasses. As you're making your cuts, try to stay as close to the line as possible. The better job you do here, uh, the less time you'll have to spend sanding it later. So I'm just going all the way in until the curve starts and then backing the blade out, uh, trying to stay as close to the line as possible. Curving around the front here. And once you're done those outside cuts, use one of the finer blades for that inside curve. You won't be able to curve the, the thick blade that much. After you finish cutting this piece out, hold on to that piece because that's the piece we're going to use for the cabin of the boat later on. In order to shape the hull to give it that little curve up at the front like a boat, uh, we're going to use a combination of the hand plane uh, and the sander. We'll start out with the plane. Take your hull blank and put it in the vise whichever way up you think you want to use it. I think this is going to be my bottom. Put it in the vise tightly with that front part uh, sort of facing up like that. Then we're going to use the hand plane to plane down the front of that a little bit. Start about a third of the way back. And just work your way back and forth a little bit here and then work your way over and then work your way back. Just keep going back and forth. This may take you a few minutes to get it shaped just the way you like it. And once you've got a nice little taper, then you can head over to the belt sander or use the palm sander to clean it up. Because I did a fairly clean job with my planing, I'm just going to use the palm sander to to uh, smooth that out. Um, but depending on how your planing went, you might want to use the belt sander if you have a lot of uh, nicks and stuff from the plane. Here we go. Just move the palm sander back and forth and uh, check it every now and then to see how you're doing and just do it till it's nice and smooth. When you're done, it should be nice and smooth, all your edges everywhere. And we can clean this up with the spindle sander and then some loose sandpaper just to do around here. Good, let's move on. Just quickly use the spindle sander to clean up the inside of the U. At this point, once you've done sanding and shaping your hull, it's time to put the cabin together. Now the easiest thing to do is just to take the piece that you cut out of the back here 
and uh, give that a little bit of a sand and then use that as the cabin and you can just glue that on or if you want to do something different you can take another piece or another couple of pieces and you can make yourself a slightly different cabin it's totally up to you whatever you do choose uh, make sure that you take a, hand, a sanding block and hand sand everything after that you, you've cut and shaped it these I just cut out on the scroll saw and then shaped with the mini belt sander and then hand sanded the edges to put those on we're just going to put a dab of glue on the back and just set them in place and I'm going to put this piece on too and then leave it for that glue to dry and go on to making your paddle wheel to make the paddle wheel grab one of the paddle wheel pieces from the extra project materials shelf and a ruler and we're going to measure it and cut it in half mark a line straight across and then go and cut that through on the scroll saw once you've cut it through and you have your two pieces we need to mark a notch in these so that they will slide together like this. So each of these pieces now needs to be measured with a halfway point. So that one's about there. And because these are notching in together like this, we're going to use the um, width of the piece of wood to make our notch. So I'm going to line it up on my little line there and hold it down and trace it. Like that. And the same on the other one. Now I have two notches to go and cut on the scroll saw. Now when you're cutting those notches, cut them just a little narrower than the lines you drew because you really want it to be snug when you slot it together. You should slot it together like this. And it should be nice and tight. That's what we want. But now what we want to do is we want to round these corners here so that it just looks a little nicer. So we're going to take it apart for now. We're going to mark all our corners. And we're going to go and round them on the mini belt sander. If you've never rounded something on the mini sander before, uh, it's quite easy. We're just going to push it against the belt and then roll it back and forth like this. As with all our pieces, we're just going to give them a little hand sand around all our edges. This really helps it give a finished look when you're done and it just looks so much nicer uh, if it's been sanded. So do that all over. Once they're all nice and sanded, we're going to slot those two together. And then we're actually going to use hot glue to glue them because uh, the hot glue will be much more water resistant. Just do a nice thick bead along each one of those joins and then set it aside for the hot glue to harden. The next thing to do is to make the pegs, both that the paddle wheel uh, holds onto and also for your little mast at the front. So take two doweling pegs from the extra project materials shelf and measure one of them. One of them we're gonna cut in half to be these two pegs the other one will stay complete to be the mast. So that's 12 centimeters long. We'll mark it at six. And go and cut that in half. After you've cut them in half, ensure you nicely round uh, one end of the doweling using sandpaper. Twisting it as you sand, give you that nice rolled over edge there so it's not sharp and do the same to one end of the long piece too the piece that's going to stick up next thing we want to do is just measure for where we're going to drill for the doweling so measure up three centimeters 
from the end of each side, put a little mark, and then just put a cross mark in the middle so that we're drilling in the middle. And then decide where you want to put your mast. Generally in the middle there, you can just eyeball that one. And we're going to drill three holes the same diameter as our dowling. We're now going to drill our three holes. The trick here is that we don't want to drill all the way through here. So what I'm going to do is just take a little piece of tape and I'm going to hold the drill up so that it's almost through but not quite. And then wrap a piece of tape around the drill bit. And I know that I don't want to go past the edge of that tape when I'm drilling. For the last one, the tape's not as important because we have a lot more depth to go through. And we're ready to put our doweling in. The next step is to put all the pieces of doweling in place. Take a little bit of glue, don't just put it on the end, put it down the sides as well. Take a small mallet, push it in the hole, give it a little twist, a little tap, wipe off any extra glue, and keep going with the other two as well. There we go, all our pegs are in. Take our paddle wheel, depending on what kind of elastic bands you have, I'm using four smaller ones, you could use two bigger ones. Put them on like that so they're crisscrossed, and then pull those crosses. There we go, that's how the paddle wheel sits. To get it to run, you pull it in one direction, let it go. It obviously runs much slower if it's in water. Final step is to make a sail. To make your sail, first you're going to need a stapler, scissors, a pencil, a ruler, and a piece of paper. Use the ruler to measure the height of your mast. This one's eight centimeters. Take your piece of paper, fold it in half, Make your sail just slightly shorter than the length of your mast. I'm going to make mine seven centimeters. Then draw yourself out a triangle, whatever shape you like. Then cut that out. and put a couple of staples in about one centimeter from the edge. Open it up with a pencil. And slide it on. And there we go. There's your finished boat. Alternately, you can make a sail out of a piece of material if you want it to be a little bit more durable. After this, feel free to go over to the wood burners or the letter punches and decorate it a little bit. Hope you had fun. And there we go. Now the paddle boat's all finished. You can take it in your bathtub. Whee!